Hey, what's up? So there is a new operating system by Microsoft called Microsoft Validation OS. It is a lightweight Windows OS based on Windows 11. So you can say that this is the official Windows 11 Lite. But there are a few things that you need to know and don't get too excited to use this operating system unless you're a technician or you know something like that. Because if you have ever used a Windows PE, uh, or ever heard about Windows PE, then this is a similar thing. Windows PE is used by technician to troubleshoot Windows PC. So yeah, this validation OS kind of works similarly. Okay, so this is the official documentation page. If you want to learn more about this or if you want to try this out, you can go here and download it and learn more about it. So actually to install this validation OS, you will need a Windows PE. So you can say that this is the just extra addition for Windows PE or just next version of Windows PE. So I have actually downloaded this uh, validation OS already and this is only 339 megabytes. And I have also downloaded the uh, Windows PE ISO file, which is also the same size. So yesterday I spent so much time <laughs> just to learn how to use WinPE and how to get it to work. Uh, now I'm just gonna, you know, quickly show you guys what is Windows PE or uh, Validation OS uh, they, because they are just the same thing. Uh, we need to do the uh, regular thing as we do with the regular windows. We need to burn this or we need to make a bootable USB drive of Windows PE. That's what I'm going to do. Uh, this Windows PE is also based on Windows 11. I'm just going to make a bootable USB drive of Windows PE. Okay, the bootable USB drive is ready now. We need to copy one thing from the validation OS. We just need to copy the validation OS's boot uh, file. So I'm going to mount it here and I'm just going to copy this validation OS dot vim and I'm going to replace. Actually, I'm going to delete this uh, winpe boot file and I'm going to paste it in here. The validation OS uh like you know boot file if you're confused of what i'm doing here uh don't worry as i said i will put a link in the description for the official documentation page for validation os you can go here and follow the instructions all right i spent so much time so uh <laughs> yeah <laughs> now we just need to boot our pc to boot manager i'm just going to use the uh, vmware for this and uh, i'm going to use this yesterday it was working come on man don't do this to me uh, I think uh, there is something wrong with this. Uh, we need to rename uh, the validation OS dot vim actually. Wow, my bad, my bad. I'm gonna try this one more time, don't worry. We just need to call this a boot. That's all. Now it should work. Bam, yay. Wow. <laughs> all right, here we are. This is the validation OS. Yes. No desktop environment, no nothing. All right. Yeah. <laughs> if you have ever used a WinPE, Windows PE, then you know what's happening here and you know what it is. All right. So, yeah. So, sadly, I can't show you guys anything else here because. I can't open anything. None of the commands are working. I think we need to add some packages uh, to this uh, validation OS actually. Uh, I, I haven't done that. <laughs> it will take some more time to learn how to add packages. Actually, there is full documentation. Uh, mount and customize if you go here and you can add more packages. None of the commands are working that I typed. Let's say, for example, I want to open a notepad application. If I type here notepad, it's not recognizing it because I think the notepad isn't included with this or maybe I'm doing something wrong. But don't worry. Give me a minute. I'm just going to boot into a pure WinPE uh, and then I'll show you how this works. All right. OK, now I'm booting a WinPE with no validation OS okay <laughs> uh, because uh, in validation OS I couldn't get any commands to work 
you can see this is also a Windows 11 WinPE. So it's the same thing, all right? It's the same thing, don't worry. A little bit difference is that uh, there is a background in WinPE, all right? So you can say WinPE initiated. Now we can type uh, different commands and different things we can actually go to the properties something like this you can see okay actually i'm gonna open the notepad here yeah just like that and uh, if i go new uh, actually open so you can see this is a file explorer this is the new uh, windows 11 you know file explorer uh, also looks like windows 7 too <laughs> We can see all the disks that are available in this PC. This is a virtual PC. Uh, I have a 60 gigabyte of uh, disk which has a Atlas OS installed. This is the WinPE bootable USB drive that we are actually using. I think I don't need to talk too much. If you have ever used a uh, WinPE, uh, validation OS is also the same thing, maybe a bit more advanced because I wasn't able to uh, use these commands like uh, to open files and you know I don't know if task manager works yeah actually task manager also works <laughs> okay WinPE has a lot more services pre-installed I think that's it hope you enjoyed it uh, actually in validation OS for a normal user I, I don't think there is anything that is enjoyable <laughs> uh, except uh, if you like the uh, command prompt for some reason then maybe it's, it wasn't enjoyable but hope you enjoyed this little information info video all right and uh, I will put link in the description for the official documentation page for the validation OS you can go there and learn more and more about this that you didn't learn from this video this video was just little info video on validation OS that's it hope you enjoyed it <laughs> uh, yeah I will see you in the next one take care of yourself and everyone bye bye